So let's get started with questions on thermodynamics. This is a bit new to me. My handwriting doesn't look like this to me. So if this is new, please cooperate. And this is on page 235. And we're gonna start with question number five. Question number five. So the questions are actually in the description box. Um, you can read the questions and then we can start with the solutions. So in this question, we've been given the mass, which is 34.8 grams. We have been given the initial temperature. So that's T I, which is equal to 22.1 degrees Celsius. We have to find the final temperature. I always like writing the information down, whatever you have. It really helps determining what you need. And then you have Q given, or the heat, which is negative 783 joules. Negative because you know it's an exothermic reaction. And then your specific heat, I always write specific heat with a circle around the C just because it helps differentiate between a small C and a capital C. So that is equal to 2.42 joules per gram degree Celsius. Perfect. Now we know that our formula, and take blue pen, we know our formula is Q equals MC delta. Let's try that again. This is your razor. There. M. C. Delta T. Which is equal to M. C. T. F. Minus T. Initial. And then we're just going to apply this formula. And what we want to do is we want to isolate for T. F. This is what we're trying to find. I have this equation. And I want to isolate for T. F. So, to isolate, I will take M and C to the other side of the equation. To do that, I will divide both sides by MC. So when I divide both sides by MC, I will essentially end up in a position like this. And this will be equal to TF minus TI, and which would imply that my TF would be equal to Q over MC plus TI. Okay, so we're gonna use this and we're gonna sub in whatever we wanna sub in to this equation, okay? So right here, I'm going to do the calculations. So TF is equal to, Q is negative 783 joules over M, which is 34.8 grams into C, which is 2.42 joules. Whenever something's getting divided, it would end up over here at the bottom. But since I know that's going to happen, we can put it up in the numerator anyway. Um, so you end up with this. If something's in the fraction of a fraction, goes on the top and then you can cancel out the grams and the joules and then you would add to this 22.1 degrees Celsius so you can see we end up with degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius which is good we know we're going right the units are in check now I'm just gonna do this calculation and when I do it, I end up with negative 9.30 plus 22, oh, I missed the unit, we should write, we should write the unit, degrees Celsius plus 22.1 degrees Celsius, and this is equal to 12.8 degrees Celsius. And this right here 
is your answer. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you with another question.